Sunday, September 11th, here in San Francisco, as you can see, beautiful backdrop. And I want to make this vlog really quick because today marks the 15 year anniversary of the terrible attacks that occurred in New York City back in 2001. You know, I don't have much to say about it, but I woke up this morning to a social media feed that had all these pictures and videos and people talking about what happened that day and they all had the words never forget all over them. When I read those words, it makes me feel a little sick and I didn't really know why until I sat on it for a while. And I realized that the reason those words sit wrong with me is because they are negative. In my experience, the universe, the world, people don't hear negatives. They only hear positives. If you say never forget, you will forget. Because when we say never forget, eventually what the universe hears, what people hear, what the kids hear is forget. Forget how terrible that day was. Forget how daunting that experience was. Truth is that people that lived it will never forget. So instead of opting for the words never forget, I choose to say remember. And the question is, what are we going to remember? And not tomorrow, not next year, but I'm thinking a thousand years from now, 10,000 years from now, what are kids gonna read in the history books and what do we want them to remember? It's probably easy to remember how devastating that day was for so many people and what happened next when families, kids, parents, cousins had to go out and fight a war and never return. That's easy to remember. But in a thousand years, 10,000 years, our future generations will be so disconnected with those emotions that they will have forgotten what actually was felt that day. So I question, what are we trying to remind people of on this day, on September 11th? I think there are a couple things. One is that no one attacks someone else without a reason. I'm not going to play the game of who is right, who is wrong here. I'm just saying that culpability is multi-layered. It has at least two players. Two, violence is a very effective way of instilling fear in people and controlling groups, societies, mindsets. And three, the combination of one and two are great ways of confusing people, distorting information and knowledge so we can't understand, so we can't make a better decision, so we can't actually remember. So long rant, as short as I can make it. What I'm gonna continue to do in my daily practice is be mindful that everyone acts with a positive intent. Simply that mindfulness right there instills compassion. I'm not saying don't fight, don't set boundaries, don't protect yourself, don't speak up for those who can't speak up. I'm just saying be mindful, be positive, look for compassion wherever you can find it. I won't take what comes through the media and just digest it as is. I will always look to disrupt the status quo. I will try to turn information inside out to create real knowledge and in context, understanding. And what I truly hope is that by doing this, our future generations, a thousand years from now, 10,000 years from now, can remember that trying to control other individuals is not going to work. That the lesson that we must learn, and this is the human race's 
lesson is letting go. Because as soon as we let go, we will bypass the ego and eventually somewhere along the line find balance. And through that balance, be able to live in harmony with ourselves and others. So I choose 9-11 as a day to remember. Peace.